Hi, my name is Byron Martin here at Logi Screenhouses. And today, which is the end of winter, 1st of March, we're going to be talking about one of our most prolific flowering vines. This is Thumbergia grandiflora, which is really um, a winter bloomer for us, although it can flower on and off throughout the year. So Thumbergia vines um, are quite easy to grow. Most of the Thumbergia family is uh, very vigorous and almost weedy in their um, growth, particularly during the summertime. This particular plant, Grandiflora, as I mentioned, is a winter bloomer in the sense that the shortened day length stimulates the flower bud formation. And so when growing this, you have to remember that you're going to stop your pruning when you get to the first of September, last of August. And from there on out, you're going to train the vine to contain it, but also to allow the shortened day lengths to stimulate buds, which actually happens um, on leads that form. So here's, um, here's a shoot that's growing up here, and you can see there's these chains. It actually makes two types of flowers. It makes these long chains with the flowers coming out of it. But it also can make a solitary flower, as on the stem here, where at a leaf node, two flower buds form. And then the plant continues to grow and the buds will form. And that process of um, budding will actually happen um, throughout the short days and even going into summertime. And as I mentioned, there are times during the summertime where you occasionally you'll see a flower. But its heaviest blooming time is during the winter time right now. You can see the really beautiful flowers. They're kind of a purpley blue. Um, they have actually, as the sun hits them, they have a bluer tone to them, um, or in shade, they have a little more um, purple color to them. As far as insects go, they do have susceptibility to spider mite, and they can have thrip problems with them. Um, I think that under heavy infestations of whitefly, they probably, whitefly would feed on them. Um, but the root systems actually are quite resilient in terms of um, disease, and there's really very little in problems with foliar diseases um, in plants of this, in this genus. As far as fertilizer goes, we grow these warm. They really don't tolerate cold conditions very well, particularly in the wintertime. So being subjected to a cold greenhouse, they're really not going to do too well. So we actually uh, fertilize them uh, throughout the year on sort of a constant basis. And we use a balanced feed, anything that has an MPK number that's uh, fairly um, uniform or even will work. As I mentioned, um, you want to stop your pruning um, in late summer, but during once this is out of flower, these plants are very vigorous, and you need to trim them back, trim them back, until you get to that point where you're going to let them go so they can come back into flower. Plants can live for many, many years in one container um, without having to repot them. This is in about a 14 inch, and we'll probably never move it outside of that. It'll stay in this pot for years, as it has already. Well, thank you for watching today. There's a little bit of information on growing one of our most prolific winter flowering vines, Thumbergia grandiflora. If you'd like more information, you can visit us at logies.com.